The story begins with sorcerer Yuji being attacked by a monster in the forest. Yuji called his slimes for backup, and they instantly defeated the dangerous monster. After that we see an adventurer's guild, a man was laughed by his friends. The others thought he was crazy, because he saw a slime, who could cast fire spells. Everyone thought slimes were weak, and they said that weak slimes can't use magic. Then Yuji appeared in the guild, Yuji completes a difficult quest, and the receptionist was shocked. However the guild master Aegis was called. He couldn't believe that Yuji is just an ordinary tamer, and the guild master bought all the herbs, that he collected. Suddenly an adventurer appeared, and he reported that they have problems in the forest. They learned that strong monsters appeared in the forest. Yuji learned from his slimes that the monsters are running to town. The guild master told the adventurers that several thousand monsters will attack the town. He wanted everyone to flee out of the town with the residents. The adventurers refused, they wanted to save their town. Suddenly, Yuji said he had an idea to eliminate the monsters. Yuji showed the adventurers a dragon fang. He could cast a powerful attack as a tamer with the dragon fangs. So he suggested that he will destroy all monsters with a dragon's fire breath. They were unsure if Yuji could mimic a dragon's attack by himself. Suddenly, an adventurer looked at Yuji's slime, and he said to the guild masters that they can all trust Yuji. The adventurers then prepared to protect the city and buy Yuji some time. Meanwhile, Yuji's proud wolf collected his scattered slimes in the forest. The slimes were all battle junkies and looking forward to fighting the enemies. Then the adventurers waited for the attacking monsters. They then threw bombs on the enemies. So the first monsters appeared and Yuji prepared his area attack. The adventurers started fighting and Yuji also activated his spells. Yuji planned to attack in 15 minutes and he used his magical coding skills. Yuji searched for a suitable spell and Team Dryad reported the sighting of an unknown person. The mysterious man left behind a red crystal stone. Yuji said that he will build a barrier on top of the crystal stone. This is how his slime group were teleported to the crystal stone. After that, the mysterious man was caught by the slimes. Following this, Yuji transferred his magic to the slimes, and he managed to seal the crystal stone. Suddenly the caught criminal started to commit suicide and he drank a poison. Then all slimes were collected and they could immediately start to casting his powerful fire spell. Meanwhile, the adventurers fought against the dangerous monsters. Following this, Yuji ordered his proud wolf to do a special task for him. Also, part of the slimes were sent to support the adventurers. So the slimes attacked the monsters with fire magic. The monsters were pushed back, and Yuji created a huge barrier around the city. Then Yuji told Lily to call the adventurers back to town. After that, the slimes should also prepare for their attack. They all went back to the city and scattered around the city. The slimes all found their positions, but one monster was causing trouble. Yuji ran out of time and the two adventurer wanted to sacrifice themselves. but Yuji's proud wolf saved the adventurers in time. He attacked the monster and saved the two adventurers. Following this, Yuji launched his attack and he activated his barrier first. Then Yuji attacked with his skill Hellfire. Yuji created a huge explosion that killed all the monsters instantly and the adventurers were impressed by Yuji. Yuji defeated most of the monsters, but some monsters survived. After the attack, Yuji ran out of MP, but Yuji decided to launch a second attack. Following he activated his second attack, and he was able to defeat the remaining monsters. Yuji saved the city, and he passed out from exhaustion. In the evening, Yuji woke up again, his slimes and Lily were happy that Yuji isn't injured. Meanwhile, Guildmaster Aegis discovered the cause of the monster attack, and they returned to the city. Then we see Yuji eating some soup. He liked Lily's self-cooked soup and the others celebrated their victory against the strong monsters. Lily then asked why he was risking his life to save everyone. She immediately understood that he didn't want to talk and walked out of his room with a smile. Then Yuji remembered his previous life as an office worker. When the party was over, Lily checked on Yuji, but he disappeared into the night. Then we see Yuji and his slimes asking him why he wanted to go to the next town right away. Yuji replied that he didn't want to get a lot of attention as a hero, so they went to the next town. The next morning, the guildmaster learned that the hero Yuji had already left town during the night. Suddenly, Lily noticed an item from an evil organization. The guildmaster sent a report to the central guild. Meanwhile, Yuji's slime discovered the next town, so Yuji arrived in a new town with his powerful familiars. Followed Yuji was looking around the city of Kilia, and the slimes wanted meat for lunch. Yuji drew a lot of attention with his many slimes. Then they discovered a man, who sell tasty meat. Yuji bought up all the meat of his shop, and he fed his slimes and Proud Wolf the tasty meat. Suddenly, 
Yuji heard a bell ring and found out that a member of the Center Guild is in town. After lunch, Yuji wanted to do some quests. Yuji has been underestimated because he is a tamer who are usually very weak. Then the receptionist remarked that Yuji is suitable for the difficult quests. After that, Yuji was looking for a quest. Suddenly he was approached by a group of adventurers. They wanted to invite Yuji to their party, but Rodis thought Yuji was useless as a tamer for the fight against monsters. Then Lisa and Tina asked if he was good at tracking monsters. They wanted to have Yuji in their party. However, they decided to take Yuji into their party to do a quest together. Following this, Yuji and his party set off on their quest. They have the quest to find the whereabouts of an earth dragon, and they thought Yuji is a weak tamer. As a result, he was tasked with tracking down enemy monsters and didn't need to fight. So Yuji asked his familiars if they sense enemies in their area. Yuji ordered his slimes not to wipe out the monsters because he wanted to find out the strength of his party. Following this, Yuji warned his party that he located five enemy monsters in their area. Rodus was looking forward to the fight, and he immediately ran to fight against the monsters. Then they were surrounded by the monster group, and Yuji's party got ready to attack. The wolves attacked them, and Rodus used his dagger to defeat the monsters. Rodus managed to kill all the monsters alone with his dagger skills. His party thanked Rodus for their rescue. Meanwhile, the slimes complained that they wanted to fight against the weak monsters. Following this, Yuji moved on, and they took a break in the evening. Then they had dinner, and Yuji shared his chicken drumstick with his cute slime. Yuji praised his slimes in front of Tina, so the other slimes were happy that Yuji is praising them. After that, Tina asked how Yuji got so good at tracking monsters. The girls kept asking, and they wanted to learn more about Yuji. Yuji didn't what he should say. Suddenly Rodi stand up, and he said that they should going to sleep. He said that they will keep watch in different shifts so that no bandits attack their group at night. Yuji was surprised that Rodis is a polite and nice guy. Then we see Yuji, he transferred into an isekai world. Yuji was surprised, he thought he was just imagining it. Suddenly he met a little slime. Yuji unwittingly tamed the little slime. Then the slime wanted that Yuji go with him. So Yuji followed the slime, and he took Yuji to an abandoned house. Then Yuji discovered many grimoires, and he realized that by reading them, he learned all the spells. Suddenly, Yuji noticed more slimes appearing. They all wanted to be tamed by Yuji, and were happy to become Yuji's familiars. As a result, all slimes were reading books, and Yuji immediately learned all the spells written in the grimoires. Also, his stats increased to a height level. Suddenly, Yuji realized that he could talk to his slimes through telepathy. After that, we see Yuji back in the present. He was woken up by his slime. They reported that Rodus runs to an unknown location. In addition, Yuji learned that Tina and Lisa also disappeared. Then we see Rodus suddenly stopped on his way. Tina and Lisa found him suspicious, and they went after Rodus without Yuji. They thought Yuji was weak and didn't want to put him in danger. Suddenly, Rodus felt the presence of a person. He threw his knife at Yuji's slime, but Yuji had activated the invisibility skill, and his slime was unharmed. Suddenly, Rodus went deeper into the forest, and he discovered traps. He was able to avoid them all and intended to go to a secret place. The girls wondered what Rodus was doing in the abandoned house. Then Rodus reported to his boss that he had two girls and a guy in his party. Yuji learned that Rodus belongs to a group of bandits who enslave people. The group of bandit decided to kidnap only the girls, and Rodus was aware that they were following him into the forest. The bandit group then wanted to start their kidnapping of the two girls and sell them to rich noble families. Suddenly, the bandit boss attacked his henchmen. The girls wanted to go back to escape with Yuji, but they unintentionally activated a trap that signaled an alarm. There's also activated a trap, and they managed to fool the bandits. Meanwhile, Yuji got ready to defeat the bandits with one of his powerful spells. Following Yuji's slimes went to battle, they positioned themselves in front of the bandit hideout. Then Yuji transferred his magic to the slimes, and he froze the bandits in a giant block of ice. All the bandits were defeated, and the slimes got the bandits out of the ice block. Lisa and Tina couldn't believe Yuji's slimes are overpowered. Also, Yuji learned that he unintentionally caught a dangerous bandit boss named Gelios. However, the bandits were stored in the stomach of his slimes. After that, the three of them decided to continue the quest the next day. Suddenly, Yuji threw a slime into the sky and he looked for a suitable place to camp. Following this, Yuji took care of finding a place to sleep for his party. The girls marveled at Yuji's powers and his slimes as he set up a sleeping place in just a short moment. So the girls fell asleep peacefully, 
and Yuji was thinking about the words of the bandit boss. The bandit boss said that something bad would happen after the moon turns blue. Meanwhile, a mysterious priest was also looking at the moon. The next morning, Yuji and the girls went looking for a giant earth dragon. Suddenly they felt a strong wind, and a slime of Yuji was looking at the dragons on a tree. Then his other slimes went looking for the earth dragon. Yuji reported that his slimes didn't find anything, but the girls encouraged him and said that they believes in his overpowered slimes. Then Yuji remembered the day he took his exams as an adventurer. His huge magic power accidentally destroyed a magic crystal. After that, the candidates had to try to destroy a huge rock. Yuji only used a weak fire spell, and he didn't know that wordless spells are high-level magic. So he wanted to cast another spell again, and he called Fireball. He destroyed the huge rock, and the others were shocked by Yuji's enormous power. Following this, Yuji decided to only use low-rank spells, and didn't show anyone that he could use strong spells. While searching for the Earth Dragon, Yuji defeated all the monsters around them with all of his cute slimes. His slimes wiped all monsters out, and they left no traces. Suddenly the girls wondered that they haven't encountered any monsters in the forest. Yuji told them that his slimes defeated every monster, so they were shocked. After that, the sky turned purple, and nobody knew what happened to the sky. The slimes reported that they can sense something spooky in the sky. Priest Style was then told that the blue moon portends evil. He said that a prophecy will come true when the blue moon appears in the sky. So he showed the Guildmaster Ray a book about the legend of the blue moon. A gigantic dragon then appeared from the sky, capable of destroying all of humanity. Yuji immediately ordered his proud wolf to collect the slimes in the forest. Then the girls wondered why the sky is back to normal. Yuji replied that a giant dragon stronger than an earth dragon appeared far away. So Yuji's group decided to hide in Delight Canyon. Yuji learned that Delight Canyon is a safe zone because strong monsters avoid the place. Meanwhile, his familiars searched the canyon for monsters. Then Yuji transferred his spells to his familiars and his slimes instantly defeated all monsters with ease. Followed they felt a strong wind and the slimes were almost swept away. They looked for the cause of the wind, so they found a small cave. Strong wind came out of the hole, which looked very suspicious. Then we see Yuji's party in the canyon, and they found the defeated monsters. Yuji said his slimes defeated them. Meanwhile, the proud wolf ran away from a huge bear, and he was terrified. So a slime attacked the bear with a fire spell, and the bear died instantly. The slimes then remarked that they made their way out through Delight Canyon. A little slime was reported to Yuji that they encountered no more strong monsters. Suddenly the earth trembled, and the earth dragon that they were looking for appeared. Lisa and Tina were scared, because their quest was to scout out the monster. They had no chance to defeat him and wanted to hide. Then Yuji wanted to defeat the earth dragon, and the girls said that the earth dragon is too strong. Following this, Yuji began fighting the dragon with his slime. He first attacked with weak magic that didn't damage the monster. Yuji noted that he must use high-level magic but he didn't want to reveal his true strength. Suddenly the Earth Dragon attacked Tina and Lisa, and Yuji managed to save them both in time. They thanked Yuji for saving them. Then Yuji came up with a plan against the dragon, and it curled up and attacked Yuji. Followed the slimes attacked the dragon together, and he lured the Earth Dragon into a trap. Yuji's plan was a complete success, and he managed to cause a sandstorm. No one could see their fighting anymore, and Yuji prepared a high-level spell. So Yuji aimed at the Earth Dragon, and he shoots him with a powerful fire spell. The whole environment exploded and the girls got scared. After that, they saw that the Earth Dragon was burned. Tina thought his slime had ignited explosive rocks to cause the explosion. So they didn't suspect that Yuji is a super strong hero. They later returned to the guild, and they reported defeating the Earth Dragon. The receptionist was shocked because Yuji's group was only supposed to scout the dragon. Following this, Yuji's slime throw out the head of the Earth Dragon, and he also showed the corpse of member Rudis. Meanwhile, Guildmaster Ray learned about the defeated Earth Dragon. As a result, Yuji's party received a large amount of money as a reward for defeating the bandits and the Earth Dragon. Suddenly Ray appeared, he wanted to talk with Yuji. However, we see Yuji in a meeting, the Guildmaster was talking about a big problem. Yuji was then to report what the dragon he saw in the forest looked like. Yuji used a spell that can turn his memories into an image, so he printed out a picture, and the guildmaster was horrified. After that, Priest Stale showed a book full of legends. He said that the legendary dragon appears after the appearance of the blue moon. The dragon is capable of destroying a continent in just three days. Also, Priest Stile said that 30 years ago, 
a legendary hero capable of defeating the dragon appeared. Guildmaster Ray suspected that the legendary dragon appeared because a spirit ceremony was held 30 years ago, which should show an effect after 30 years. They were sure that the dragon was summoned through the ceremony. Suddenly, Yuji's slime reported that the blue dragon was getting bigger. Yuji reported that his slimes are currently observing the blue dragon. The adventurers were frightened by the emergency situation, and the guildmaster decided not to give up without a fight. After that, the slimes got delicious lunch and they thanked Yuji for their tasty meat. Then Tina and Lisa showed up. They suspected that Yuji wants to fight the blue dragon. They wanted to support Yuji, and they said that with Yuji by their side, they can't lose. After that, Priest Dale appeared. He wanted to give Yuji a legendary weapon. Priest Dale gave Yuji a rusted dagger from the legendary hero, who disappeared 30 years ago. Yuji looked at the dagger, and he discovered a powerful ability. Then Yuji asked why he got the weapon, and Priest Stale replied that the gods chose him. In the evening, Yuji worried about the adventurers, who wanted to fight against the blue dragon. Suddenly, the slime reported that the blue dragon got even bigger. Yuji thought back to the time when he decided to use only weak magic to hide his abilities. Then he decided to fight the dragon with all his power. Following this, Yuji set off with his familiars to seek out the dragon. They found the giant dragon, and Yuji ordered the slimes to prepare for battle. The slimes were ready for battle, and Yuji chose a strong spell. Yuji shared his senses with his slimes, and he attacked the dragon with his hellfire spell. The dragon was resistant to many elements, and he started to be angry. The blue-eyes white dragon began to launch a widespread attack. Yuji noticed that he was fighting a blue-eyes white dragon that could shoot laser beams. Following this, Yuji protected himself and his slimes with a strong barrier. Suddenly, the slimes noticed that the blue-eyes white dragon was gathering mana. Yuji wanted to use the dagger of the legendary hero. The slimes were worried because the dagger looked weak. But Yuji knew the true strength of his new weapon, and he ran towards the dragon with his familiars. The dragon attacks Yuji with strong laser beams, but Yuji deflects the attacks. He then landed safely on the ground and continued running towards the dragon. Suddenly, the blue-eyes white dragon attacked again, but Yuji countered with his slime at level 9000. His slime deflected the dragon's attack, and Yuji prepared his attack. Then Yuji used his barriers, and he did a skywalk. Yuji jumped into the air and reached the dragon. The dragon tried to attack him, but Yuji's slime shot a fireball at him. Following this, Yuji attacked an eye of the dragon with his dagger, and he also used a strong fire spell. The dragon was badly injured, but suddenly Yuji was attacked. The dragon survived his attack, and Yuji had to use all his MP to protect himself. Yuji was out of MP, because the dragon was more powerful than expected. Subsequently, the blue-eyes dragon tried to attack Yuji, and Yuji created several barriers. Time was running out, and Yuji was overwhelmed by the powerful laser beams of his opponent. As a result, he came up with a plan and found a powerful spell. Yuji survived the laser beam, and he was trying to buy some time for his next attack. Yuji then paralyzed the dragon with his Pikachu Thunderbolt spell. The dragon was injured, and Yuji rode on his proud wolf, so his proud wolf assisted Yuji in his attack to defeat their enemy. This is how Yuji managed to attack the blue dragon with his dagger. Yuji combined his dagger with his fire spell, and he was able to slash the dragon into two pieces. The blue-eyes white dragon died from Yuji's final attack. Following this, his slime celebrated Yuji's victory, and they went back to town together. After the dragon's death, magic mushrooms appeared. The next morning, Guildmaster Ray knocked on his door. Ray said that the legendary dragon is defeated, and he received the information from Priest Style. Yuji learned that an unknown person saved the world. Guildmaster Ray then said that Yuji can count on the adventurers in case of trouble. After that, Yuji ate breakfast and the girls said that the dragon was defeated. Then they asked what Yuji is up to now. He replied that he would like to travel to the next town. So Lisa suggested that he should visit the city of Ricardo. Suddenly, Yuji asked if there weren't any strange things happening and the girls laughed. They said it's a warm and calm place. After that they said goodbye to Yuji, so they traveled to the next town, and the slimes looked forward for their dinner. Suddenly, a slime reported that Dryad has a problem. Yuji immediately went to her, and she showed Yuji magic mushrooms. Dryad wanted Yuji to help her collect the mushrooms, because she wanted to use them to produce S-rank potions. She said that she can use the mushrooms to produce heal potions and mana restore potions. He was impressed that with the MP potions, he can instantly regain all of his magical powers. However, his slimes collected all the magic mushrooms in the forest in just a short time, 
she was happy that all the mushrooms were picked up. Then Dryad created a barrier, and she produced potions with her alchemy spells. Suddenly she looked at the MP potion, and she failed to turn the MP potion blue. Yuji wanted to show her an awesome trick he learned from Breaking Bad. As a result, he used his slimes and a couple of Erlenmeyer flasks to distill some water. Following this, Yuji said that her potions resembled the stones when she first encountered them. Dryad remembered being sick in a tree. Suddenly, Yuji appeared, and he cured her of her illness immediately. She then thanked Yuji, and she said that a mysterious stone had absorbed her magic power. After that, he sealed the power of the mysterious stone and evil monsters appeared. Yuji immediately defeated the monsters that were appearing, and Dryad thanked Yuji again. She then conjured flowers, and she was glad to have met Yuji. Later, Yuji learned that the magic stones where monsters appeared are mixed with dragon blood. He learned that dragons contain powerful magics that are neither good nor evil. Suddenly, the slime said that the water is successful distilled. As a result, Dryad was able to produce blue MP potions. She thanked Yuji and hugged him. Dryad then gave him some of the potions she made. Then she said goodbye and went home. Yuji continued to travel to the next town, and he couldn't see anything through the fog. His proud wolf discovered a small village. Suddenly, many villagers appeared, and Yuji was greeted by a man. He invited Yuji to eat and wait for the fog to clear. Then Yuji got dinner, but he wasn't hungry. Then the man asked why Yuji had visited their village. He replied that he wanted to travel to the city of Ricarda. The villagers watched Yuji and he wanted to move on. Before Yuji left, he learned that the village is called Messias. After that, Yuji and his familiars went off, and his familiars found the villagers very suspicious. Yuji agreed with his slimes and looked back. Then we see the suspicious man from earlier talking to a crystal ball. He said that tomorrow he will extract the Dragon Grace in Delight Canyon to destroy the world. After that, we see Yuji again, and his slimes were looking forward to the delicious food in the city of Ricarda. Following, Yuji and his familiars couldn't believe that a blizzard is active in the new town. Then we see Yuji on his way to the new town, and he wanted to make sure his familiars wasn't cold. They were more worried about Yuji, and he found a spell to warm himself up. After creating the barrier, his slimes were amazed at his spell. After that, he arrived in the new city, and a guard told him more about the weather. Then the city guard asked why Yuji wanted to visit the city Ricarda, and he replied that he had heard about the delicious food in their city. However, Yuji went to the city, and the nice man recommended him to a famous restaurant in their city. So Yuji visited a restaurant, but a woman couldn't serve him some food. She said that their restaurant is closed because they don't have enough firewood since the snowstorm suddenly appeared. Yuji looked at the restaurant and knew that they can cook very tasty food. Suddenly, Yuji offered to get them some firewood so they could cook him tasty meals. Yuji left the restaurant and he went into the forest. He then asked his slimes if they knew anything about firewood. They had no plan and could not support Yuji in his plan. As a result, Yuji sought out a spell, and he created a magic axe. Yuji just tried to cut down the trees and he almost destroyed the whole forest. After felling, he chopped the trees into firewood. The slimes were impressed by Yuji and they admired him. Meanwhile, Yuji sought out a spell to absorb the moisture. Then he had the idea to use his slimes, and they wanted to help Yuji right away. As a result, the slimes absorbed the moisture from the chopped firewood, and Yuji praised them. After that, Yuji showed his wood to the shopkeeper, and she asked the cook about the dried firewood. The chef said the firewood was too dry, and Yuji added moisture with his slime. After looking for the second time, the old man was amazed by Yuji's firewood. He praised him, because he had never seen such perfect firewood in his life. He immediately wanted to use the new firewood, and he asked Yuji where he got that wood from. Yuji replied that his slimes produced them. Then his slime showed Yuji's collected firewood, and the cook was shocked by the large amount. After that, Yuji ordered his slimes to add them the collected firewood with moisture. Suddenly, Yuji's stomach rumbled, and the chef wanted to cook a delicious meal for Yuji. Yuji was served a delicious steak with some side dishes. However, Yuji wanted to taste the steak, and he was impressed by the heavenly taste of the vegetables and meat. Yuji thanked for the meal, and he complimented the chef's cooking skills. Then he found out about the stew, but the shopkeeper didn't want to use up all the wood. Yuji decided to help the city and he went to the guild. Then Yuji saw that the whole town is in trouble. He accepted some quests. Yuji was sent to a lumberjack for assistance, and he looked forward to Yuji's help. Wudoka said that demand is currently increasing because no one could have foreseen the blizzard. 
After that, Yuji asked about Messias village, and he learned that no one lives in Messias village anymore. Following this, Yuji started chopping down trees, and he used his powerful axe skills. The lumberjacks were shocked by Yuji because he cut countless trees down in just one moment. Then he chopped the trees into perfect firewood and stacked them. He also used his slime gang, which absorbed the moisture instantly. Lumberjack Wudaka was stunned by Yuji and his slimes. In the afternoon, Wudaka told that Yuji produced all the wood with his slimes. The guild receptionist said that she knows of a legend that appeared in the story about a powerful slime tamer. Yuji thought Priest Stein knew more about the legend about the slime tamer. However, Yuji said that his slimes collected more firewood. As a result, his slimes threw up all the collected wood that they stowed in their body, and Wudoka was still speechless at Yuji's power. After that, Yuji asked if the guild needed more firewood. So Yuji went on to collect firewood for the whole town. He collected a mountain of firewood that shocked everyone. In the evening, Yuji received his quest reward, and he went to rest at night. The next morning he wanted to eat the delicious stew from the city of Ricarda. Following this, he was served a delicious stew by the chef, and his confidants were served delicious meat. The restaurant owner and the chef thanked them, and Yuji tasted the delicious stew. Yuji couldn't believe food could taste so delicious. He thought that he was in paradise. His familiars and Yuji were fascinated and wanted to eat the delicious meals every day. Suddenly the chef said that usually they can serve better dishes. Yuji learned that monsters are eating the herbs and they cannot harvest high-quality herbs. So Yuji went hunting the monster, and his slimes were ready to beat up the evil monsters. They were ready to go into battle, as a result they tried to track down the monster. Suddenly they found a wild boar, and they immediately reported it to Yuji. The wild boar monster scared the slimes with a scream. They told Yuji to transfer some magic. The wild boar monster was then defeated by a slime. They were happy to have defeated the first monster. Then they wiped out all the other monsters in the forest as well. While fighting, the slimes found a blue magic orb. Yuji asked Dryad if she knew about the magic orb. Yuji was curious, and he found out that the magic orb absorbs his energy. He then recalled the memories about red crystals and suspected that the magic orbs are responsible for the blizzard. After that, Yuji sealed the blue magic orb, and he ordered his slimes to look for more of them. His slimes found 108 magic orbs around the city of Ricarda. As a result, Yuji felt a strange energy and suspected a high-level spell. Yuji immediately ordered his slimes to go out of the forest, and Proud Wolf should collect the slimes. Suddenly, Yuji decided to destroy part of the forest, and Dryad wasn't angry with Yuji, because he just tried to save the everyone. Then Yuji burned the whole forest with a strong fire spell. He caused a huge explosion. Yuji found a secret entrance and he decided to investigate the entrance. Following this, Yuji descends into the secret hiding place, and his slimes accompany him. Dryad was worried about Yuji, and he told her to hide in the forest in his absence. Then his slime said they found something, and Yuji saw a huge machine glowing. Yuji was surprised by the mysterious machines, and his slimes called him again. They found magic crystals filled with some substance. Suddenly suspicious people appeared, and they looked at the magic crystals. They found out the machines were destroyed and went out a different way. Yuji wondered what the suspicious people were up to. Meanwhile, the slimes had a lot of fun and looking forward to finding more weird things. Following this, Yuji cast a spell to make his slimes invisible. Later, Yuji was in the forest, and his slimes reported that they found the suspicious guys. The slimes were chasing the suspicious men, and they had a lot of fun playing spies. So the slimes went on, and they found a huge steel door they couldn't get through. The slimes reported to Yuji that they found two levers. Yuji said that together, they should open the levers at the same time. As a result, the slimes managed to open the door. Proud Wolf trusted the slimes, and they reported to Yuji that they found a ladder to the surface. So they climbed up the ladder, and Yuji found the village of Messias. The slimes also realized that they had been to the village before, and they searched the village for some villagers. Then they found the suspicious men, and they reported to their leader about the destroyed machines. Yuji suspected that the men wearing the cult clothes belonged to an evil organization associated with the Blue Moon. The leader of the evil organization was shocked when his followers told him about the destroyed machines. Yuji spied the conversation through his slimes and the leader of the evil organization wanted to solve their problem. He ordered his followers to collect all the remaining magic stones in the forest. Suddenly, a follower of the evil organization asked what to do if they see strangers. The leader ordered that all troublemakers should be killed. Yuji believed they would hurt many innocent people, so he planned to stop the evil group. 
He then ordered his slimes to secretly surround the village. Before launching their attacks, the slimes should look for innocent people who don't belong to the evil organization. So the slimes searched the village, and one of the slimes observed the Blue Moon group. In addition, a group of slimes stole the evil organization's books and documents. They stowed all the books and documents into their body. Suddenly, Yuji's slimes spotted some people in the forest, and they tied them up with a spell. The captured criminals immediately committed suicide, and they drank some poison. Yuji watched what was happening in the forest, and he had no intention to stop his plan. Then a slime reported that he couldn't open a metal door. The door was locked, and Yuji asked if they could spot levers. They saw several lights, and Yuji told the slimes to position everyone in front of the candles. Then the slimes blew out all the candles with a wind spell, and the door opened. They were impressed how smart Yuji is, because he could solve the riddle. However, they found many treasures, and a slime discovered a skeleton. Suddenly, they sensed someone in the hiding place, but the slimes have already stolen all the books and treasures. Followed then, the evil organization became desperate. Yuji prepared to attack the suspicious men. Meanwhile, the evil group realized that many of their followers had disappeared, as a result suspected that the explosion was caused by a human. They were afraid that the enemy found out their true intentions, so they told about a cleansing flame that could destroy the world. Yuji continued to listen to the criminals' conversations. Then the leader said that they need to track down the enemy and kill him. Suddenly they all drew swords and they all committed to sacrifice themselves together. The slimes and Yuji were shocked. Suddenly the cleansing flame activated and caused an earthquake. Yuji immediately told the slimes to gather, and Yuji prepared to rescue them. So Yuji encased his slimes in a barrier, and he used a blast spell to get them away from the city. The slimes flew into the sky, and they had a lot of fun. Meanwhile, Yuji encased the city of Messias with many barriers. Suddenly the whole city of Messiah exploded, and green flames rose from the ground. All houses were destroyed, and Yuji's barriers broke from within. Yuji searched for more spells, and the slimes got worried. Following this, Yuji came up with a super smart plan, and he created a new barrier spell. As a result, he activated his newly created spell, and he used his isolating zone spell. Yuji's spell was very powerful, and he tried to withstand the blast long enough. His MP was dwindling, and he soon had no strength to hold out. Yuji tried to hold on with the last of his strength, and his MP was down more than 500k. At the end, a huge explosion appears that envelops the city like an atomic bomb. Yuji successfully managed to stop the explosion. Then we see his proud wolf he was hiding in the ground. At night, Yuji returned to the city of Ricarda. Everyone was worried about Yuji, and they were happy that he came back and wasn't unjured. The residents thought that the explosions were caused by meteorites. After that, Yuji noticed that the snow was thawing in the city. The next morning, Yuji was greeted, and the residents wanted to have a party with Yuji. Then, Yuji was hailed as a hero for helping out the town with firewood. After that, the restaurant owner showed up and thanked Yuji for defeating the wild boar monsters. The chef was able to cook his tastiest stew for Yuji. As a result, Yuji was allowed to eat the stew immediately. He was immediately overwhelmed by the taste and felt reborn after eating it. Yuji had a food coma from the delicious stew. In the evening he woke up again and he wanted to look at the books of the evil organization. His slime threw out all the documents and fell asleep. When Yuji tried to read the documents, the characters disappeared. He only managed to find one document with information. Yuji was shocked to find a death list meant for John Wick. Then we see assassins, who wanted to kill the people on the kill list, and Yuji was also a target of them. In the followed days, we see assassins searching for their targets. Suddenly, an female assassin threw her knife at a snake. They wanted to find out and see if their target is a danger for their organization. After that, they found Yuji and his familiars in the forest. Yuji was on his way to the next town because he didn't want to endanger the town of Ricarda. Followed we see a short time before. Yuji said he wanted to leave town. Then Yuji found out about the city of Borginia, which is famous for his amazing monster armor. In addition, Yuji should visit Geigel's workshop in the city of Borginia. The slimes were already looking forward to their power-ups. Suddenly, Yuji was told that he was being watched. His slime told Yuji that two suspicious people were looking for him. Following this, Yuji pretend to taking a nap. One of the assassins wanted to kill Yuji right away, but the woman warned him, because their job is to decide if Yuji is a threat. Then they decided to keep watching Yuji. In the meantime, Yuji used a slime, and he was able to see the enemy's stats. Following this, 
Yuji came up with a plan to trick the assassins into getting him off the kill list. Later, Yuji arrived in the city of Borginia, and he visited an armor shop. Suddenly, Yuji looked at the prices of the Amors, and he was sent away, because he didn't have any money. After that, Yuji continued to be watched, and the assassins thought he was a loser. Then Yuji used his slimes to find money. In the end, Yuji pretended to spend all his money on alcohol. Then he realized that the enemies almost believes that he is weak. However, he wanted to show the assassins that he was a loser. So he went to the guild, and Yuji accepted a monster hunt quest. After that, he told his slimes that they aren't allowed to fight against the monsters. So Yuji said that he want to fight like an ordinary tamer today. Then Proud Wolf was sent into battle, and he was terrified. Followed Yuji's wolf was attacked, and he unwittingly defeated the first bull with just one attack. His proud wolf was surprised that he is strong. He has forgotten that he is actually a strong wolf. The slimes cheered him on, and Yuji remembered the day he met Proud Wolf. During the night, Yuji and his slimes were attacked by Proud Wolf. Yuji instantly defeated him, and he begged for forgiveness. He cried in front of Yuji and didn't want to be killed. Yuji said he didn't want to kill him. Followed he became Yuji's familiar. After his first meeting with Proud Wolf, Yuji thought he was weak all the time. Then Proud Wolf fought against the other monsters, and he defeated them with just one attack too. The assassins doubted, thinking that maybe Yuji is a strong tamer after all. Following this, Yuji healed the monsters so they could continue fighting. So Proud Wolf defeated the monsters again. Yuji secretly healed the monsters on full life again, and Yuji's plan to pose as a weakling worked. Suddenly, Proud Wolf wanted to prove his true strength. Yuji didn't want to fight all day, so Yuji used a steroid spell on the bulls. Followed Proud Wolf was being chased by the bulls, and he was trying to dodge the attacks. Then Yuji realized that he made the bull too strong. Yuji wanted to buff his Proud Wolf, but he wanted to defeat the monsters with his own power. Proud Wolf didn't give up, and he wanted to protect his honor. So he decided to defeat the strong bulls with a final attack. The slimes were impressed and celebrated Proud Wolf. As a result, the assassins were convinced that Yuji was weak. Suddenly a bull attacked Yuji and he used a spell. Yuji defeated the monster with his sword and he realized he had screwed up his plan. The assassins were shocked and Yuji was ready to wipe them out. Subsequently, the assassins weren't sure if Yuji was strong or weak. Yuji's slime was just waiting for the both answer. In the end, they classified Yuji as no threat and they wanted to report to their bosses about the decision. Suddenly his slime said they were talking about something. Yuji learned that they planned to assassinate Priest Style next. During the night, the assassins reported that Yuji is not a threat. Suddenly their leader said that Town Messius was defeated. After that, they were happy to assassinate the Priest Stale. Yuji wanted to prevent the death of Priest Stale. Following this, Yuji used a powerful spell, and his slime instantly defeated the two assassins with an ice spell. The next morning, Yuji wanted to visit Blacksmith Geigel. He was immediately sent away when he wanted to buy gear for his slimes. Suddenly, Geigel got angry because his apprentice underestimated Yuji. Then Geigel learned that Yuji is a slime tamer. He looked closely at the slimes. Geigel could immediately see that Yuji's familiars were on a high level. Then Geigel said he had to make customized armors for his familiars. Suddenly Geigel said he had a problem. Yuji learned that he lacks certain materials because his familiars are too strong. His apprentice couldn't believe his slimes were supposed to be strong. So Geigel explained to his apprentice that Yuji and his familiars are the strongest team in the world. After that, Yuji was shown a jewel of a lesser fire dragon. Also, Yuji learned that the lesser fire dragon's jewels cannot control the powers of his familiars. Geigel said blue lesser fire dragon drops an item that would withstand his familiar's powers. However, Yuji learned that blue lesser fire dragons are very strong and rare. Followed Geigel told Yuji, that he could use the jewel of a blue lesser fire dragon to forge strong armor for his familiars. Yuji was ready to collect the jewels. At the guild, he accepted all lesser fire dragons hunt quest. After that, Yuji learned that the lesser fire dragons have protection against spells. He later learned that he could defeat dragons with ordinary water. The guild receptionist said that he needs a huge amount of water for this. The only river nearby harbors dangerous fish. Yuji was curious, and he accepted the fish hunt quest as well. Next, they went to Volcano Mountain, and his slimes wanted to ask for directions. As a result, Yuji received a new type of slime, who looked forward to help Yuji. Then Yuji found a river, and they couldn't sense a fish monster. Subsequently, Yuji learned that his slimes cannot swim. 
so Yuji looked for a solution to keep his slimes from drowning. Yuji created a web out of his slimes with a spell. They dived into the river together and found a dark hole. Suddenly a slime said they found a fish monster in the hole. The slimes were scared and told Yuji to pull them out of the water. Following this, all the slimes were saved and Yuji froze the fish with an ice spell. The monster was able to break free and he immediately attacked Yuji. Yuji dodged and he used a powerful fire spell to burn the fish. Later, Yuji's blue slimes found a group of red slime and they were all tamed. He also found the monsters, but he wondered why his slime didn't sense them. Suddenly the slimes realized that there were dragons in front of them. When Yuji went to fight, the slimes didn't follow Yuji and he learned that the slimes are afraid of the lesser dragons. So Yuji started fighting the first dragon with water, which he had collected with a spell. Yuji was able to find a jewel immediately, and he looked at the dropped item. Suddenly his slimes appeared, and they were amazed at the quick victory. As a result, they were motivated, because through Yuji, they gained courage to fight against the lesser fire dragons. After that, all the slimes went off to fight the dragons. Suddenly, Yuji learned that a slime had found a blue lesser fire dragon. The blue lesser fire dragon was larger than the common dragon. Following this, Yuji said that all the slimes should be in position. Then the dragon was attacked with a large amount of water. The slimes noticed that the water had no effect. They were scared and wanted Yuji to save them. As a result, Yuji used an ice spell to cool down the dragon's body. The dragon managed to free itself from the block of ice. Followed Yuji's slimes formed a wall and Yuji attacked the dragon with a tenfold ice spell. After that, the dragon thawed immediately, but Yuji managed to defeat the dragon with his tenfold ice spell. Yuji was able to collect a blue jewel for crafting an armor. Meanwhile, a slime stored the blue lesser dragon into his body, and the other slime celebrated their victory. In the evening, Yuji returned to the guild, and he had completed all the hunting quests of the guild. Afterwards, the guild receptionist thanked Yuji for the information about the fish quest. She filled out a form, because there are usually more fish monter living in the river. Later, Yuji visited blacksmith Geigel, and he showed him a blue lesser fire dragon jewel. Geigel and his apprentice were impressed, and he immediately wanted to forge an armor for Yuji. Suddenly, Yuji showed him another blue lesser fire dragon jewel. They were intrigued and shocked when Yuji handed over another bunch of common lesser fire dragon jewels. Geigel was happy and wanted to forge armor for Yuji. The next morning, Yuji's familiars received armos that enhanced their power. After that, Proud Wolf tested his power up and his speed was increased. Proud Wolf had fun with his new abilities. Subsequently, his slime was allowed to try out the new abilities too, and Yuji learned that the equipment also increases physical powers. So Yuji cast a spell on his familiars, and they got even faster. Suddenly Geigel said that Yuji should test the new attack power. Following this, Yuji transferred an ice spell onto his slime. Geigel and his apprentice couldn't believe that Yuji's slime could cast strong magic. Later Yuji learned that the armors couldn't withstand the power of his spells. Subsequently, Yuji learned about a fire dragon that lives in the volcano. Geigel said that fire dragons are very rare and nobody had ever defeated them. Yuji wanted to go hunt the dragon, but he didn't want to endanger the residents. Suddenly, his slimes reported that the lesser fire dragon were acting strangely. Yuji immediately sent his slimes to find suspicious people. Then the slimes found two men hiking on the mountain of the volcano. Suddenly, Yuji felt an earthquake caused by a huge fire dragon who was on the way to the city Borginia. Then his familiars reported that they were standing in front of the volcano. Following this, Yuji asked some of the slimes to looking for the fire dragon. Meanwhile, another slime reported that the suspicious men are heading towards the fire dragon. After that, the suspicious men climbed the volcano and Yuji overheard their plan through a slime. As a result, Yuji decided to catch the guys but they were able to dodge his attack. They were amazed and thought they activated a monster trap. Then the men moved on and Yuji tried another attack. A man then attacked Yuji's slime, who was spotted by the enemies. Yuji suspected his attack could fail, so he used his second slime to trap the enemies. Also his slime was unharmed and the suspicious men were caught by Yuji. Then the slimes gathered and they were sure that they were being attacked by the mysterious tamer. Not wanting to betray their organization, they drank poison to sacrifice their life. The suspicious men died instantly, and his slimes didn't know what just happened. Then Yuji ordered his slimes to examine the barrels. Followed they reported that they found magic stones in the barrels of the suspicious men. After that, Dryade appeared for support, and she was surprised by the barrels too. 
She reported to Yuji that the water in the barrels have the effect to make monsters angry. So Yuji used a spell to purify the cursed water in the barrels. The slimes were happy, and Dryade told Yuji that she will went home. Then she teleported back to the forest, and a slime said goodbye to Dryade. Later, some slimes noticed that the lesser dire dragon were acting strangely. Suddenly, a man knocked on Yuji's door, wanting Yuji to run to safety. Many residents left the city, and everyone was concerned about the volcano. Yuji looked at the fire dragon. He learned from the innkeeper that the fire dragon would never show up when they have a rainy day. Suddenly his familiars reported a big problem on the mountain. They reported to Yuji that the fire dragon started running towards the city. Also Yuji learned that a huge fire dragon had destroyed the city half a century ago. Then Yuji saw the dragon that could wipe out Borginia with his powerful attacks. Yuji decided to stop the dragon and considered defeating the dragon with lots of water. Next, Yuji's familiars should find out if the dragon stops in front of the river. Suddenly the dragon stopped, and Yuji thought he wouldn't keep walking. His slimes couldn't see anything because the dragon evaporated the whole river. Yuji realized he would need more water to stop the fire dragon from destroying the city. Yuji then told his slimes to get ready to fight against the fire dragon. The slimes were excited to fight, and Proud Wolf supported all the slimes. After that, Yuji started attacking the fire dragon with strong ice magic. He was able to freeze the legs of the fire dragon. Yuji's first attack failed, so Yuji prepared his second attack. Followed Yuji send all his slimes to cast an ice spell against the dragon, but it failed again. The fire dragon was angry, and he attacked Yuji with his fire breath. So Yuji tried to counter the dragon's breath with a 20 times stronger ice spell, and he transferred his magic immediately to his slimes. Later, Yuji came up with a new plan to defeat the fire dragon. Suddenly, the fire dragon crossed the second river, and Yuji told his slimes that he had a plan to win. Following this, Yuji ordered his slime to open the barrier to defeat the fire dragon with the collected water. As a result, the huge fire dragon drowned in the river, and his familiars learned that one of their friends collected a huge amount of water with a barrier. His slimes admired Yuji, and they went to check out the fire dragon, who drowned in the river. But the dragon woke up and attacked his familiars immediately. Yuji was able to protect his familiars in time, and he ordered them to find a shelter. Then the fire dragon wanted to wipe out the entire town of Borginia with a breath of fire. Yuji immediately sought out a strong spell, and he transferred his spell to his slimes. His slimes cast a strong ice spell, and together with Yuji, they tried to stop the strong fire dragon. Yuji didn't give up, and he managed to overpower the fire dragon. As a result, Yuji managed to overwhelm the fire dragon's attack, and his slime froze the whole body of the enemy. After that, his frozen body shattered, and he dropped a huge giant jewel of the fire dragon. The slimes were very happy about their victory, and also that they survived the battle against the huge fire dragon. Later on, Yuji was tired, because he didn't have MP left in his body. Suddenly, his slimes reported that they found a strange device. In the evening, Yuji visited Blacksmith Geigel, and he showed him the item drop that he received. Yuji said he defeated a lesser fire dragon, and Geigel immediately understood that Yuji wanted to stay undercover. Later, Yuji visited the Adventurer's Guild to learn information about the city of Ordarian. So Yuji got the information. That city Ordarian is a strange place, who most adventurers are avoiding. Suddenly, Yuji showed the guild receptionist the mysterious machine. That's how Yuji found out that he found a machine that can artificially cause rain. Yuji was sure that the suspected men had their base in the city of Ordarian. The next morning, Yuji received a new legendary armor for his slime. Then Yuji wanted to go to the next town, and Geigel wished him good luck on his journey. Followed this, we see a secret place in the forest. In the hiding place was an old man who craved divine powers. The man received a power-up and got muscular. Also, we see Priest Stale. He was in the city Ordarian looking forward to met Yuji. The next day, Yuji arrived at the new city Ordarian, and he went to visit the Adventurer Guild. Yuji was immediately observed by the other men in the guild. However, he didn't choose a quest and left the guild. In the meantime, he spied on the guys with one of his slime. Yuji learned that he was removed from the death list, but one of the men still didn't trust Yuji and suggested killing him. The other man said that Yuji's death could cause problems for their organization. Then Yuji found out about their leader Walter. In addition, he was visited by Priest Stale. Later we see a church and Priest Stale was already waiting for Yuji in the city of Ordarian. Following this, Yuji learned that Priest Stale shared a past with Walter. Priest Stale told him that in his past he founded the organization Blue Moon. 
They were just a small group at first, but his organization grew quickly. One day Walter also joined the organization, and he was quickly promoted to his right hand. After a few years, the gods wanted him to dissolve his organization Blue Moon. Priest Style did not heed the voice of God. Thus, a few days later, almost all of his followers were murdered, and his organization was destroyed. Later on, Priest Style learned that the attack was led by Walter. He had planned to take over the organization Blue Moon. He then named his group Blue Moon of Salvation, which wanted to destroy the whole world. Yuji was surprised by the creepy story, and Priest Stale showed Yuji a book as proof. So Yuji learned about the goals of the new Blue Moon organization. After that, Yuji learned that he was sent by the Divine because he can use the legendary dagger. So Priest Style entrusted Yuji to save the world. Suddenly Johan asked why Priest Style didn't tell Yuji the full story. We then see a henchman reporting to Walter. Walter was told that they found Yuji and Priest Style together in the church. After that, Walter opened a secret room and he entered the hidden place. Then he started to pray to a magical device. Walter learned that the legendary sage who can destroy the world will appear soon. He just need to sacrifice a special person his life. Followed then, we see Yuji thinking about the words to be a divine emissary. Suddenly he remembered the words of a guild receptionist, who once told him about the story of a sage. The next morning, Yuji tried to find Priest Stale, but he wasn't in the church. Following this, Yuji asked his slimes if they saw two people walking by. Suddenly, a slime reported that they saw Priest Style in the morning. As a result, Yuji decided to go find Priest Style. Meanwhile, Priest Style found a secret hiding place that was locked with a spell. He used a magical necklace to open the entrance. After that, he found a secret room with Johan. Meanwhile, Yuji slimes found new friends in the forest. They all wanted to support Yuji on his journey. Then we see Priest Style again, and he has been surrounded by guards. Priest Style immediately activated a protective barrier, and he also intended to defeat the enemies. Following this, Yuji was able to find a secret entrance, but the slimes were scared, and they had a weird feeling. Then, Yuji opened the secret entrance with a strong spell. In the meantime, Priest Style and Johan found Walter's room. Following this, Priest Style was greeted by his old friend Walter. Priest Style said he knows his death will invoke the sage. Suddenly, Yuji and his familiars found vanquished enemies in the hidden place. Then Priest Style were fighting against all his enemies. Walter was impressed that Style was able to defeat all of his fighters. Suddenly Priest Style was caught, and he was paralyzed by Johan with a spell. When Priest Style woke up, he was shocked that Johan is a traitor, who helped Walter to lure him into a trap. Walter said that they planned to cleanse the world with the cursed magic crystals. Unfortunately, a strong warrior appeared who was able to defeat all the summoned monsters. Followed Walter asked if Yuji is the hero from the legends. So Johan confirmed that Yuji is the divine emissary who was able to defeat the ancient beast and stopped all their plans. That's how Walter learned that Yuji was strong enough to ruin all their evil plans and they couldn't cleanse the world. Despite the failures, Walter was happy because he was soon able to take the next step to destroy the world. Then Walter had the plan to summon the legendary sage who have enough power to destroy the entire world and humanity. Priest Dale said his plan will fail, because Yuji will stop him. Suddenly the defeated fighters turned into monsters, whom became lifeless puppets. Walter then looked down on Priest Style, and he intended to sacrifice Priest Style for the Sage's awakening. Suddenly Yuji appeared and he had questions for Priest Style. Yuji wanted to know more about the story of the legendary Sage. Following this, Yuji was attacked, but he managed to block the attack with a barrier. Additionally, Yuji freed Priest Stale with a spell. After that, Yuji learned from Priest Stale that the enemy's name is Walter. Walter was pleased to see the Divine Emissary and thanked Priest Stale. However, Yuji was attacked by two strong monsters and his slimes instantly defeated them. Then Yuji and Priest Stale were surrounded by enemies. Suddenly Walter managed to escape and he went to a hidden room. Then Walter sat on a throne, which was designed to give him more strength. Walter received incredible powers with the evil device. Suddenly, Yuji appeared to stop Walter's transformation. They didn't make it in time, and he turned into a giant beast. Yuji tried to destroy the transformation with fire magic, but Walter gained a new power. Yuji was then attacked, but his proud wolf protected Yuji. After that, Walter grew horns out of his head, and his body evolved into a demon that could shoot a laser beam out of his mouth. Yuji immediately created a barrier to protect himself. Also, 
Yuji attacked Walter with a slime. Walter was able to dodge in time, and he was looking forward to fighting Yuji. Following this, Yuji prepared his next spell. So Yuji and his slimes cast a spell together, and they attacked their enemy with fire spells. Suddenly Walter tried to fly away, but Yuji cast more spells. The slimes shot fireballs at their opponent and they managed to hit him. Then Yuji's slime realized that her enemy is unharmed. However, Yuji told his familiars to use their magic gears, which would power them up. Meanwhile, Yuji was protected by his slime, and they were able to successfully activate the gear. Following this, Yuji cast many spells that enhanced his familiar's powers. Followed his familiars used their speed to surround Walter. Walter couldn't get away from the two, and he had been cornered. As a result, Yuji's slime used a powerful fireball that his enemy couldn't deflect. So Walter was badly injured and his body had a hole. Suddenly, Walter discovered the other monsters and he absorbed his comrades to regenerate himself. Yuji was surprised and he attacked Walter again with a spell. But Walter was angry and he absorbed the remaining monsters into his body again. He was able to evolve for a second time and wanted to attack Yuji. Following this, Yuji transferred fire spells to his slimes and they shot Walter with many fireballs. Followed Yuji was attacked, but he managed to escape with Proud Wolf. Then Yuji was chased and he kept attacking Walter. After that, Yuji used a petrification spell and Walter was overwhelmed. As a result, he attacked Yuji with his Gum Gum Gatling. Yuji's barrier could no longer withstand the attack. Suddenly Yuji said he can start to activate his finisher move, so he tied up Walter and his slimes shot more webs at Walter. After being unable to move, he was attacked by Yuji with his most powerful fire spell. The slimes were happy about the victory, but Walter laughed. At Walter's last moment, he activated a spell. Priest Style realized that he was wrong. He then told Yuji to take care of himself. Suddenly the whole room lit up and the magical energy of the dead monsters was absorbed. Johan was absorbed as well, and Yuji protected him and his friends with a magical barrier. The whole room glowed purple, and Priest Style was shocked. When the glow stopped, a new warrior appeared and he said that he is a sage. Yuji asked if the enemy is Walter. But Priest Style replied that he hadn't told Yuji the whole truth. Then Priest Style said he had no idea that Walter's death summoned the sage. Yuji learned that Walter was preparing a ritual to summon a god. Yuji was shocked by the story. Suddenly he was attacked with a fire spell. Yuji was able to deflect the attack, but the slimes were shocked because he cast the same spell as Yuji. Followed this, Yuji told his slimes to get ready for battle. Then Yuji began to enhance his slime's strengths with many buffs. After that, Proud Wolf jumped in the air with the slimes. So Yuji's slimes immediately attacked the enemy, but the sage was able to deflect the attack with a barrier. Yuji immediately ordered his slimes to spread throughout the air for the next attack. Then the slimes surrounded the enemy by jumping on Yuji's created barriers. Followed all slimes attacked the guy from all directions, but he was able to deflect the attacks with one hand. Suddenly, the sage attacked Yuji's slime, and Yuji teleported them away. Yuji's slimes couldn't hurt the sage. Additionally, Yuji noticed that he has almost no MP left. Yuji tried to think of a new plan against the enemy. After that, all slimes attacked together, and he transferred a tenfold ice spell into his slimes. The enemy's whole body was frozen, but he immediately freed himself. The slimes then launched their second attack and used a tenfold fire spell, which slammed the sage into the ground. Yuji hoped they won, but the sage survived the attack. Then Yuji was attacked, and he countered with the same spell. The two were equal in strength, and their attacks caused a lot of damage. Suddenly Yuji felt dizzy from almost running out of MP. Yuji managed to overwhelm the enemy with his spell, but the enemy wasn't defeated. So the slimes were shocked that the enemy survived Yuji's fire attack. Following this, the sage activated a dangerous spell that would destroy the entire world. This is how we see purple laser beams caused by the sage. He activated machines that can produce rain. Subsequently, the monsters got angry and they behaved strangely. Priest Style was shocked because the sage tried to destroy the entire world. Meanwhile, all towns were the targets of strong monsters, and the adventurers failed to defeat the attacking monsters. Suddenly the monsters started to hunt the adventurers, but a few of Yuji's slimes were patrolling around the towns. After that, Yuji told Priest Stale about the artificial rain machines. Suddenly the sage floated in the sky, and he transmitted his memories to Yuji. Yuji learned that eventually another legendary dragon will appear, who the next sage will have to fight. This is how Yuji learned that his enemy wanted to redeem the world to stop the cycle.
followed the enemy attacked Yuji with a fire spell, and Yuji knew that his barrier didn't manage to stop the attack. So Yuji countered with the same attack, and they caused many explosions. Priest Style was amazed at the clashing forces. Suddenly, his slimes reported him about some problems with the angry monsters. So Yuji transferred his spells to stop the monsters going into town. Yuji was using a lot of spells, and his MP was in the minus zone. The troubles didn't end, and Yuji was exhausted. Suddenly, Dryad reported to Yuji that all's residents of Fastan are gathering at the city gates. The residents knew that Yuji had saved their town. They were ready to destroy the monsters themselves this time. Yuji then told his slimes to help the adventurer fight. Suddenly, the other slimes reported that residents in different cities had the same idea. They all knew of Yuji's exploits, and they wanted to do their best to defend the city. After that, we see Geigel, he lent equipment to the knights. Then he said, they are ready to beat up the monsters. Yuji was surprised, because he always worked alone in his old life. However, Yuji was happy, because he didn't have to face the problems alone. As a result, Yuji was able to focus on the enemy. Before his fight started, he activated spells to buff all the adventurers. They all got stronger, and could defeat the monsters. Suddenly, Priest Style reported to Yuji that the gods were sending him a message. Following this, Yuji got the idea to drink a slurp drink from Fortnite and he got a lot of V-Bucks with the potion. So Yuji's MP was restored and he immediately went into battle. After that, Yuji was asked why he wants to protect the world. Suddenly, Yuji remembered the friends he had met as the new sage in the Isekai world. He wanted to protect everyone and wanted them to continue living happily. Then the battle between the two sage from another world began. The former sage attacked, and Yuji blocked with the same attack. After that, the sage said that unlike Yuji, he has infinite MP. Suddenly, a finisher spell countdown appeared. Yuji used the divine strike on his enemy. He was immediately seriously injured and fell to the ground. Then Yuji remarked that he can use the lightning spell of Pikachu again. As a result, Yuji attacked his enemy again, and he was able to use them continuously for 30 seconds. Yuji attacked the sage with several bolts of lightning, but his enemy was not defeated. Following this, Yuji wanted to use his legendary dagger, and he ordered his slimes to help him attack. So the slimes jumped around and said they were ready. Following this, Yuji concentrated his strongest spell into the dagger. When the power was concentrated, Yuji started to attack. The sage also attacked with his strongest spell, but Yuji created a barrier. His slimes used all their power, and Yuji was able to successfully trap the enemy in Yuji's black barrier. The sage was shocked by the strong barrier. Also Yuji attacked the sage in the same time, and he managed to destroy the sage's body. As a result, Yuji caused a big explosion, and Yuji won the fight. All adventurers could feel Yuji's explosion wave and were surprised. Then Yuji fell down from exhaustion, and he was glad to have protected the entire world. Later we see priest style in the church praying to God. Then he got up and wished Yuji good luck with his further journey. In the evening his familiars asked why he wanted to leave the city of Ordarian. Yuji replied that the Blue Moon Organization members are still alive and he doesn't want to cause any trouble. However, Yuji learned that everyone was celebrating the victory. All cities started a party and they were happy to live happily. Yuji's slimes told him about the happy ending in the cities. His slimes were happy too, that nobody was hurt. Meanwhile, other members of the evil organization found out about Walter's death. They still had the plan to destroy the world. One of the members said that soon they will be able to use the secret weapon and they will sacrifice their lives. The members plan to summon the Black Dragon of Ruin. Then we see Yuji's slime spying on the evil organization. Yuji heard about their plan and he didn't want to be disturbed at dinner. After that, a huge tiger appeared that wanted to attack Yuji. Following this, Yuji and his familiars were surrounded by monsters. The next morning, Yuji arrived in a new city, and he wanted to take an assignment. Then Yuji said that he defeated all the tigers on the way to the city. After that, the guild worker learned that Yuji alone defeated the monsters. She thought all his party members got eaten by the tigers, so she tried to cheer up Yuji and said, the members must be in paradise. Suddenly Megi appeared, and she found out about Yuji's order. She looked at the defeated monsters and immediately noticed that Yuji had defeated them alone. As a result, Megi said she heard rumors of a famous tamer. Yuji realized that he is known as a hero now. Also his slimes were happy that Yuji was recognized as the new hero.